Well, good morning. Today I wanted to talk to you about our pullet grow pen for our uh, baby turkeys and our baby chickens. Once they get past the brooder stage, you got to put them in a pullet pen and let them grow out and feather out good before I take them out to the chicken yard or the turkey yard. So we'll be right back after the break. <laughs> This video covers pullet grow pen backyard chicken setup number eight. Well, welcome back. This is going to be our, our little grow pen for our pullets. Now, as y'all know, when we bought the, the homestead here, we had a nice, beautiful horse barn. And this is just one of the, we have four horse stalls, and this is one of them that I'm going to convert into a uh, pullet pen for our baby chickens and our turkeys. Um, so I wanted to just give you a little look around and let you see what it looks like before I start really uh, converting it, and uh, so you can see what it looks like. We got a really nice matting that's on the floor that the horses used to um, use for the horses. It, it makes it real easy to clean, so I'm going to keep these mats, and I'm glad I got them. So I'll be able to put in my um, pine shavings, and I'll be able to uh, clean the bo the bottom of the floor out in between, you know, crops of birds. So this this is really a, in the plus column for me. I'm really excited about that. And if you look up here in the overhead, you can see that um, it's wide open and you know our barn's a tunnel barn, so it's wide open through here, so any kind of critter can come in here. So obviously I have to wire this in and, and uh, protect them from uh, all them bad little varmints that want to kill them. So the first thing I'm going to do is do the overhead. I'm going to wire in the overhead with hardware cloth and then um, I'll have that set for them to try to uh, protect them. We also have some nice big windows that these windows were um, real nice for the horses because they like to stick their head out the window and look around. So it's perfect for horses, but um, it's also great for the chickens because I can um, get some uh, cross breeze through here, some flow through ventilation. So I'm going to wire up those windows and I'm also going to put some shutters on them. So in the winter time, if I want to, or if there's some really bad weather, I can just shut the, uh, close those shutters and, and kind of protect them a little bit from the elements. You can see there's some big wide openings around on the sides in between the two stalls here. I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to wire that all the way in. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to wire I think I may even just panel it up with some plywood just to, just to fill it in. It might be a little easier since I don't really need the wire there, but I'll put up something to, to separate them and close them in. And there's one on the front. I'm, I know I'm going to wire it because I want to be able to look in from the um, tunnel. I can walk up and just look in and, and talk sweet to them. And then right here I've got a big opening that had a, um, you know, a horse gate on it. I'm going to take this horse gate right here off and I'm going to put me in a, um, I'm going to build me a plywood door right here so I can just walk in and out and uh, close the door. And um, that way it's, it's um, varmint proof. So I got a lot of work to do. I'm going to get to it. And uh, as soon as I get through, we'll come back and do a little bit of a walk through just to show you how it looks. So thanks for watching. We'll be back in about a week and a half. Take me about a week and a half to do this. See you soon. Well, we finally got the pullet pen ready to go. So today I just wanted to give you a little look around, let you see how she looks. So um, let's go check it out. Well, the first thing I did is I uh, enclosed the area that used to be the horse stall. Remember I told you I was going to take the gate off and close it in with a door. So here it is. I put in a a door and Miss Nancy can walk right up here and see in. It's big enough for her to see in without standing on her tippy toes. So I had to get it custom built to suit Nancy's shortness, which I think shortness is beautiful. So there's nothing wrong with shortness. The shorter, the better, I think. But anyway, here's the, uh, the door that we made. I just got a gate latch on it. So it just shuts like that. Opens up, got the wire mesh so you can see in. 
I did go ahead and close in the front with wire mesh here to keep the bad guys out from the pull-up pin. Pull it pin, and I also closed in the side. Remember, I was talking about at the time. I wasn't sure if it was going to be uh, a plywood wall or, or wire mesh, but I elected to go ahead with the wire mesh across there because I want to maintain the flow-through ventilation through the barn for um, keeping the temperatures tolerable for them. So I did. I did close all of that in. Inside. Um, Remember we had the real high overhead up here and what I've done here is I've, I've wired this in with the hardware cloth and I built it in panels so it was easy to install three foot at a time except for the last one I made it a custom built size so I could use the size, three foot size rolls on all three of the panels and then the last panel I had to, to trim it but it worked out pretty easy and it went in pretty nice so I was real happy with that. I closed in the, um, the windows with the, uh, the hardware cloth as well, so uh, nothing can get in through here. And I, if you remember me talking about adding some shutters, I put these shutters on so I can, I can close them during the winter time if it's real cold or if it's really bad weather, I can, I can come out here and close this to, to keep them good and dry inside. And it's just a gate latch on here that opens and it shuts the thing. And I painted it this outside black so it matches the trim work that I did on the outside. This is the little roost that I made for them. Um, you know, the, the pullets will be in here for quite a while and they'll actually start learning how to, to roost, you know, as they become adults. And I've got it up against this wall and um, I'm gonna, you know, of course, cover underneath this whole floor in here with the pine shavings, but this this area these rails is where they're going to do a lot of pooping down here so there's a lot of maintenance so you have to keep it clean as well so i can come in here and i can pressure wash off the rails if i want but it's always hard to get underneath the um the the roof so i made it where it would just fold up i can just fold it up like that and then clean out underneath it and when i get through Just lower it back down. So I kind of liked having that that um, option to where I could fold it up out the way when I need to. If you look right over here, I got the um, the hanging uh, water tank and a hanging feeder for them. This way they can um, uh, they can come in here and eat and feed and drink uh, at all times. And I like having the hanging one so because I can adjust the height as these pullets are uh, maturing and, and age and getting bigger, bigger and bigger, so I can uh, raise, and, raise it up to suit them. And right here is my heat lamp that I got. Um, I've got a new uh, light switch, you know, a receptacle in the overhead here, so I can plug in this in the wintertime if it's cold, and I can suspend the um, heat lamp in here so they can cuddle up, up underneath it and stay warm if they really want to. So. That's a good feature there too. So that's the pull-up pin. We're, we're pretty happy about it and very excited, right? Mm -hmm. One step closer to getting some chickens. So we hope you enjoyed the little journey of the pull-up pin with us and um, we'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. And until then, if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We just love to have more people in our homestead family. So until me and Nancy see you next time, always remember, by, by his hands, hands we are fed. fed. Give us, <laughs> Lord, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. <laughs>
click the notification button so you never miss another video. Click below for products we used in the videos and you could also partner with us without spending a penny. We welcome your encouraging comments, prayers, and questions. And thank you for watching and sharing our videos and posts. Have a blessed day.